and girls, good to see you, how are you? Have you had a good week? I'm just going to sit back just now. Have you had a good week? Has it been good? Put your hands up. Tell me something exciting that you've done. Right, let me ask you, let me ask you if you've been to the swing park. Oh, that's quite a lot of you actually. Tell me if any of you, put your hands up, if you have been in the water. Whether it's in the paddling pool or at the beach or even in a swimming pool. An outdoor swimming pool because I know the swimming pools aren't open yet. Wow, that's quite a lot of you, isn't it? Put your hands up if you've just had your breakfast. I'm just going to get mine. I'm going to get mine soon because I'm getting a bit hungry. But anyway, good to see you. Do you like my, my, my little lamb? I don't have a name for it, so you need to tell me. You need to think about a name that I could give my wee lamb. Okay? I don't think lamb chops will go real, down really well, will it? Or co we could call it mint sauce. The grown-ups will know what I mean. Anyway, you may be wondering what on earth is Fiona doing again. This Fiona's a crazy person, isn't she? Well, I was reading, I was reading the Bible. And this time, I was looking at the Old Testament. Now, remember the Bible split into two halves. So we've got the New Testament. And then we've, got, and we've also got the Old Testament. Well, this passage is all about my lamb. Because it reminds me that God is a shepherd. Now, in Psalm 23, so the parent, the, your grown-ups will know where that is. Psalm 23 begins with, The Lord is my shepherd. I have everything I need. He gives me rest in green pastures. He leads me to calm water. He gives me new strength. For the good of his name, he leads me on paths that are right remind me of a lamb because the lamb has to be cared for hasn't it and the shepherd cares for the lamb and the shepherd protects the lamb as well but boys and girls one of the things I was thinking about today is that how lucky are we that we have people around us who care for us who protect us who feed us who walk with us that's lovely isn't it and I was looking at I was looking at a book the other week there, uh, and I've left it, but I'll put the image up. And it's called, and it was all to do with Tibet. Now Tibet's a beautiful country, and um, so you need to look up the uh, an atlas to see exactly where Tibet is. But they have something called prayer flags, and what, and I'll show you the image in a wee minute, okay? And that reminded me of how we demonstrate people to people how much we love them. Well, the Tibetans, in their prayer flags, what they do is they hang them up and, and, let the, and the wind catches them and they flutter in the wind. And it's not about having their prayers being sent up towards heaven. What they say is that the prayers that they have is spread about for all people. So when they write on their prayer flags how much they love God, that love is shared with everybody because the wind is blowing it. So what I thought we could do is that you could get some paper, coloured paper or ordinary paper, and you could draw a triangle. And then what you could do is you could attach it onto some string. Now I'm che I've cheated because I've got these flags already. And what I've written on it is may God bless everyone at Sunday school and pram and praise. And what I want you to think about is who do you want to say thank you to? And who do you want to say thank you to God for? So what you could write on it is may God bless your parents for looking after you. May God bless your grandparents because they care for you as well. They, they love you really as a, quite a lot, don't they? And they give you lots of sweets when your parents tell you no. And, and grandparents always... They're, they're great with the cuddles, aren't they? They do the best cuddles as well, don't they? Or you could write, may God bless the farmers for giving us all the food. So I want you to think about that, uh, boys and girls, when we watch this wee video clip. All right, so what I want you to do is I want you to get comfortable and then I want you to, to, to watch this wee video. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Stories of the Bible. Jesus prays. This is Jesus, 
Hey -o! who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like walking on water. Oh, hey guys. And even raised people from the dead. Uh, Wahoo! At this time, the Jewish people were celebrating a festival called Passover that had been celebrated since the time of Moses, when God brought his people out of Egypt. Jesus was going to Jerusalem to celebrate, and Jesus and his disciples were having the Passover meal together. Jesus told them many things of what was to come and the trials they would face. Then Jesus looked up to heaven and prayed for himself, saying, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your son so he can give glory back to you. I brought glory to you here on earth by completing the work you gave me to do. Now, Father, bring me into the glory we shared before the world began. Then Jesus prayed for his disciples and said, I have passed on to them the message you gave me. They accepted it and know that I came from you and they believe you sent me. He prayed for his disciples who would be staying in the world after Jesus went to heaven. He asked God to keep them safe from the evil one and to make them holy. Then Jesus prayed for all the people who would come to believe in God because of the message that the disciples would tell. He prayed for people of all time, even to this day. He prayed that followers of Jesus would be united so that the world would believe that God sent Jesus to die for their sins so that everyone could be with God forever. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that wee video there. That was pretty cool, wasn't it? But that's the great thing about prayer, isn't it? Because we can say to God anything that we want and, and it's also nice for people to know that we're thinking of them as well. But I've had to cut my bunting because I got it in a bit of a mess. So um, so here we are. So we've got May God bless everyone at Sunday School and Pram and Praise. And then I'm going to write May God bless all the teachers at nursery and school. Because the teachers are working really hard just now, aren't they? Trying to get everything organised for when you go back after the school holidays. And it's it's been hard for them as well, not being able to see you really. Um, so I want to I want to just thank the teachers as well. And and I think we should thank the teachers as well. So let's give the teachers. Teachers rock. Yay! A big round of applause for all the teachers. Doesn't matter which school you go to, but give them a big round of applause. Because they've been working hard during lockdown. Um, and I think we just need to remember that as well. Boys and girls, we're going to say a wee prayer just now, because that's what our theme is. Our theme is, over the next couple of weeks, all about how we can talk to God in so many different ways. So let's speak to God. Close our eyes, okay? Right, remember, five-finger prayer, remember? And and maybe if the grown-ups would close their eyes as well, okay? Young people tell me if the grown-ups are not keeping their eyes shut. Okay, let's pray together. Dear God... Thank you for our family and friends. Thank you for our teachers who have been working hard during lockdown and, and getting everything ready for us for when going back to school. Thank you for even the, the doctors and the nurses and all the people who have been working in the hospitals and the health centres to keep us safe as well. Because, Lord, you know how hard it's been for people. So, Lord, during this summertime when we're out playing and and we're going back and down to the beaches, keep us safe and let's remember people who love us so that we can tell you all about them during our time of prayer. So Lord, hear our prayers. Amen. Boys and girls, I'm going to continue to, to, to write on my bunting and then I'm going to hang it up there. And I think what I might do is, if it's alright with you, if I just put all your names on my bunting and we can hang them up and then every time I see it I think of you because I do miss you I do miss you and it was good to see you on the zoom meeting 
uh, on Sunday there. I hope you I hope you enjoy uh, the Zoom. Okay, I'll speak to you soon. Talk to you.